Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is either October 25th or 26th. I don't really know. Let's find out. 26th. It's a Wednesday. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded. Or it's been some time it feels like. Even though I think it was just last week. Uh, I'm going to keep doing two videos for a week for a little bit. I just... Yeah. It gives me time to just lay low for a little. Relax a little bit more. Uh, they actually are bringing millings in here. Um, they're grading that. They'll be black topping the last hundred feet of the new driveway. And I just need to go back there to uh, check out the site. Um, it's been some time, a lot of smaller changes. The guy that's actually running that grader there, apparently my cousin Tyler told me he watches my videos. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get some drone footage today. I brought my drone, got my new drone. There's some fog in the air, so I'm gonna wait for that to lift. I don't need to get moisture in that drone, uh, which I hope it lifts here soon. I'm actually just going through the cabs here. This morning there was new ones that decided to get sick, so I'm gonna take care of them. And then I have to go through the weaning barn and treat respiratory because, you know, that's like a never ending. It's a daily thing, pretty much, it seems like, but it's all right. It's part of farming, so and it's just a season. It's fall and spring are the worst. So, I got some bandamine, which is pretty much like some feel good, feel good drug for the calves. Uh, they don't really necessarily have anything wrong with them except scours and that would be like almost dehydration and if they don't drink that doesn't really help but yeah it's just it's kind of a cycle when a calf gets sick it gets somewhat depressed and then doesn't eat or drink and that's not good so it's just kind of to help them pull through so yeah there was a couple here that I saw from this morning She's uh, taking a, I'll give her some privacy. Uh, gotta remember, I think 25 was one of them. Yep, she didn't finish our milk, Let's see there. There we go. Treat her, and then there's three other ones that I wanna treat. So this one also didn't finish her milk, but she doesn't look like she's in bad of shape. Uh, it's probably a sign that she is coming down with some scours. Uh, I've helped the other ones that weren't, didn't look too hot. Then we can probably catch with some electrolytes. Um, uh, electrolytes and helps if you're dehydrated, obviously, in case you guys didn't know, but there you go. Uh, we have some powder that we'll mix in with our milk and we could actually do, if we wanted to do a stronger dose, we could just mix in with water and they'll drink it because it must taste somewhat like milk. Even though when you mix it in, it just looks like water still. So I'm not going to try it because it says for bovine only, which is cattle. So yeah. I'm not a cow. Mitch is in a meeting right now, so, but I think afterwards we'll be bending up this barn, so we don't want it to get any worse than this. There's still straw visible and they can still have a spot to lay down, but it's not like we're trying to make them lay in their own crap. Um, so yeah, I have a couple marked down. Obviously, if I hear some other coughing and whatnot, I'm gonna treat them as well. I'm not gonna do the ones I just marked down, so. You know, I just, I don't want to hear any other ones cough. It's kind of uh, but I know it's guaranteed. So, yeah. Just pick a spot. There you go. Sorry. Thirty-five, fifteen, thirty-five, forty. And next, you gonna work with me here? All right, so new ones, 35, 78, and pen six. And then this one right here just caught for me. Not for me, 35, 85, but. And then there's a couple laying down in these pens here. Their, their ears are drooped a little bit that I saw. I think it's actually in this pen over here. I don't know, I'll zoom in on them just so you guys can see. Well, she coughed. 
And then the one right there, her ears are drooped a little bit. Ran out of go-go juice or healing juice. So before I go get more, I think I'm gonna take my grading footage now and just around the around the construction site because I'll be needing that for a future video. And uh, yeah, this is to you, grader guy. Alright guys, I got all the drone footage I needed and I took some clips for a future video, so that that I took about an hour, but it's alright because it's gonna be helpful for the next uh, upcoming video. But yeah, dry cows are still here. Nothing has really changed much. Uh, some things that were put in, uh, these gates, I'm not sure what they're, I'm having a brain fart when it comes to technical terms. But so you can put these gates up like this. I don't know why the term is not coming to my mind, but then right here, for an example, we have them lowered. Uh, still have this gate here because we still need to get the hinges. But yes, this is lowered and that's raised. Uh, the apron's done. These end gates are done, it looks like. After lunch here and uh, yeah, time to bed up the weaning barn like I said. Mitch is gonna refill the spreader for next time. I'm gonna use a skiddy and bed up the new hutches before I put straw in, and then we'll be getting close to feeding time here. That's that. Here's a bale. I'm gonna grab that. Grab this skillator first. Just leave that hooked up to the wood chuck because uh, it's kind of nice when you don't have to hook it up again. You can get away with it. Oh yeah, the door was busted on the 300. I don't know if we're gonna get a new door or not. We'll see. <whistles> Downside of having skillators with doors. It happens. Spend some time since I showed getting calves. 
67 and 68 stay. They didn't get fed their second time. Colostrum. They were born today, which makes sense. Tony Roar, Roar Dairy Productions here. Uh, October 28th, Friday, October 28th. Um, we are getting corn from my brother's brother-in-law. Roughly 35 acres, so it might be seven or eight of our dump truck loads. And I got a code pilot this morning. I got Riker here. Say hi, everybody, Riker. Hi. Yeah. So he's uh, manning the snack bin for me and uh, making sure I do everything right today. Um, we're heading towards Strasburg, so anybody that's familiar with the area, we uh, going to be heading down 222 and then making a left on Lime Valley Road. Anybody that knows my family probably knows where we're going. But anyhow, we, like I said, we have about seven or eight loads to get today, and uh, we still have 50 some acres to do of our own. Not sure when we'll do that yet. I imagine in the next week to 10 days we'll try to get that done um, yeah it's the dry it, things don't dry down as good this time of year so um, yeah but it looks good it's just a matter of actually getting it so all right we're here off of Lime Valley Road I'm guessing it's some type of a 23 or 2166 Pace IH combine working way over there. Wish I could zoom in, but just above the grain cart there. Uh, got a little John Deere 500 bushel grain cart. Uh, saves time though, it's better than the combine having to unload the truck every time. So it's some old iron here today. I think the grain cart's being pulled by a 7130 Magnum. And this truck's being driven by a 44-year-old driver. Gonna need to do that at least one more time to get a load. What, bud? Chopper. chopper. No, there's no chopper. It'll be six months till we're in the chopper again. Unfortunately. How's your fishies? What? Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. He wondered when we're gonna get on the road here. I said as soon as we're full. It goes a little slower than what we're used to, but we're getting it done. We, they got Harnish Farm Services shells for us, and they got a, a S680 uh, with a 12 rail on it, and probably gobbles it up almost twice as fast as this thing, but. It's all right. We're not going quite as far um, as our York County farms either, so Daddy. three trucks should three trucks will keep after. Uh, we're not going as far, and it's a smaller machine. So. <clears throat> not sure if this combine dump's going to fill us. All right. Hopefully, this is the rest of my load coming here. Uh, then we'll head back to the dairy. Stop in at the 
uh, employment office or wherever you want to call it, home I guess. Uh, I got a, another helper here. Say hi everybody. Hi. This is Ryder. The other guy fell asleep in the job. This guy's eating lunch. Or he said he wanted a bite of my apple. He didn't eat all that. That was mine. So he's maybe he'll stay awake. The other guy couldn't make it. He didn't even go one load. He was out. He was out right after lunchtime. So we'll see what this guy does. Uh, if not, I'm not going to even bother anymore. I'm just going to do this job myself. It's tough to find good help these days, but hey generation we'll, we'll try to whoop these guys into shape so going through Millersville right now um, just crossing the little Conestoga for those of you who are familiar with the area and uh, I guess I shouldn't say I'm going through it but I'm about to go through it so heading down the Lime Valley Road again all right I'm getting my second load here uh, Stand corrected, it's a 2577 combine. So, I was wrong about the model. It's a little newer than what I realized, but it's still before the newer series. Going to get the rest of my loot. A little different than the Kinsey grain cart we were using uh, that, of Allen's the other week. That thing was pretty quick compared to this, but we're getting her done. That's all that matters. Really looks like it's going places now. But... Well, I just got done unloading my third load. Um, Mike and Mitch are bringing the last two home. We... Uh, Somehow, even though Mike stopped to feed, he hold an extra load compared to me. But he stopped to feed and was able to feed the cows and not let me get ahead of him. So I guess that's how that happened. It takes about, took me about two hours to do that one, uh, that one load. So that makes sense. But uh, yeah, it's Friday evening here. It's nice to be done. Um, with It was corn we bought. It wasn't ours. We still got 50 acres of our own to do. Ashland's out trying to kill a buck tonight. Um, that's where I would have been. It feels good out right now. It feels a little more like hunting, but it's we've been somewhat mild here lately. Um, I don't really think the buck care. They, this happens once a year. They don't. Uh, they don't find a pair, patch a bamboo to lay in, and say, "Ah, forget it." They're they're going to take advantage of this time. <laughs> so, anyhow, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure where this will be at in the video, but you'll have a, a great evening, day, wherever you're at when you watch this. And uh, yeah, God bless you.